Am I wrong for how I reacted to my wife's pregnancy announcement? My wife, female 26, and I, 30 male, decided to start having kids. We've been trying for over 9 months and nothing happened. We were told to be patient, but I couldn't help but stressing out about a problem that's preventing us from conceiving. The issue is that my wife kept joking about this matter and pranked me twice by lying to me saying she was pregnant. The first was when I was at work and she sent a text telling me she was pregnant. I was so happy I came home and brought stuff with me to celebrate, only to find her laughing in my face saying it was a prank. Second time she told me she was pregnant, she was recording my reaction during and after the prank. Again laughing, telling me it was a prank, but this time she shared the video with her family. I told her I didn't appreciate how she laughs about a serious matter then having me believe it was true only to ruin my happiness. She stopped for two months. Last night, we were at my parents' house sitting, having dinner when she said she had a gift for me. She had my sister go bring a small teddy bear with a note on it and gave it to me. I was nervous and worried about her pulling some of her pranks on me in front of my family. I read the note that the teddy bear had on it and it said that I was going to be a dad. I looked at my wife and she smiled at me and congratulated me saying she was pregnant. I saw red completely. I got up from my seat and tossed a piece of paper on the table and just snapped, telling her to stop making fun of something so serious and sensitive. I told her I was done with her lack of respect and sympathy for the most important thing that I've been struggling with and to include my parents in her prank was too low. My wife excused herself to the bathroom. My mom and dad were unaware of what was happening. They literally paused and asked what the hell is wrong with me. My sister said my wife was actually pregnant and just confirmed by test that she's seen with her own eyes. I felt both happy and devastated because I thought she was pulling the same prank again and I got fed up with it. My wife got mad and argued with me in the car saying I ruined her joy and made her look awful in front of my family as well as lashing out on her as my reaction to the happy news. She said she told me in front of my parents to show me she was serious this time. She had her mom call to berate me and said her poor daughter daughter will suffer with my boorish behavior and lack of respect for her. My wife has been giving me the cold shoulder ever since. So am I the asshole here? This is like, what is that story called? That fairy tale? The dude with the, he kept saying something to the villagers and the villagers kept coming in the, the boy who cried wolf. This is literally the boy who cried wolf. Am I wrong for demanding my girlfriend to change her dress for a wedding? This happened during this weekend, me being in my early 30s and my girlfriend in her late 20s. I was invited to a wedding ceremony of a colleague and I could bring someone with me. I asked my girlfriend that I've been dating for a year if she would like to join me and she was really happy because she apparently loves weddings. Since we don't live together, I drove to pick her up so we'd have some time to spare before the ceremony. She's also wearing an off-white dress that was rather ornate. As she comes out, she looks really beautiful and has obviously put in time to fix her hair and makeup. As she got in, I told her she looked stunning, but I asked if she could change into a different colored dress for the ceremony. I'm not one for etiquette by far, but one of the few things I have heard everywhere is that you should not wear white to a wedding. Unless you're the bride. She became pretty upset and wanted to know what was wrong with her dress. I said that it would be inappropriate to wear a white or off-white dress unless you're the bride and that it's like wedding law or something, trying to be lighthearted about it. She rolled her eyes and said that it was an outdated tradition about women and virginity and that when her friends got married, everyone wore white and that it's not a big thing anymore. I still thought she should change to another color but white or almost white because my colleague was getting married and we had no idea how she felt about it. My girlfriend became really upset and told me I was trying to control what she was wearing and that it was abusive. Uh, which honestly made me really upset in her. I said something along the lines of, Duck, well you shouldn't go to a wedding with an abuser then. And then I told her to get the F out of my car. She began to cry and wanted to apologize and give me a hug. But I just told her to get out, which she did. To clarify, we never left the driveway by her home. I did not drop her off in the middle of nowhere or anything like that. I drove off and she called and texted me a bunch. I answered, I don't want to talk right now, and then turned my phone off and attended the ceremony. The bride was the only one that was wearing white, so I feel as if my gut feeling was in the right. When I got home, my phone had blown up by text from her and her best friend saying that I was being inconsiderate and controlling and should apologize for my behavior. I feel as if I was in the right since it was my colleague's wedding and it was better to be safe than sorry, but I'm also not sure if I was being an asshole about the situation. I don't understand people's obsession with trying to wear white to someone else's wedding. You don't even know the person either. It's your boyfriend's a colleague's wedding. Like, huh? Am I the asshole for insulting my boyfriend's weight in front of his friends? Relevant to the story, my boyfriend is 6 feet tall and about 229 pounds. I am 5 foot 6 and about 120 pounds. From a medical standpoint, my boyfriend is obese and I am fairly normal weight. I really don't mind his weight. He was obese when I met him and that wasn't a problem for me. He has struggled with his weight for many years and constantly talks about wanting to lose weight but never actually dies or exercises. Again, not a huge deal for me, but I try to be supportive and offer him advice or general encouragement whenever he discusses his desire to lose weight. An occasional point of contention between us is that he has a tendency to offer me diet advice. For example, whenever I make a smoothie, he says, you shouldn't drink those things, they're full of hidden calories. Or when I do strength training, he says, you'll just gain weight because you'll put on too much muscle. It's annoying because nutrition and fitness are actually big passions of mine. 
I'm not an expert by any means, but I've done several courses and I feel I know more than the average person. Plus, I feel that I can demonstrably show that I can manage my own weight. So I don't like that he constantly feels the need to give me advice. This past weekend, he and I met up with a few of his friends at a beer garden. At some point, the guys were talking about their experiences with online dating. My boyfriend said that he'd used Tinder prior to meeting me, but then he deleted it because there were too many desperate fat chicks. He said this in such a disgusted, dismissive way that I genuinely saw red for a second and just blurted out, seriously, you're going to criticize fat chicks? There was a really long, awkward pause, and then one of his friends made a joke and the conversation sort of moved on. But my boyfriend didn't speak to me for the rest of the evening. He texted me the next day and to say that it was incredibly rude and disrespectful to comment on his weight, especially in front of his friends. He says he thinks he wants a few days away from me to decide whether or not he can forgive me. I agree it was rude of me to call him out in front of his friends, but I also think what he said was obnoxious and borderline sexist. I've apologized to him, but I'm not sure if I'm genuinely the asshole here. So, am I the asshole? Am I wrong for telling my sister not to name her daughter Chewbacca? My 24 female, sister 28 female, found out she was pregnant 5 months ago. Recently, she and her husband, 31 male, announced that they were having a girl and finally decided on a baby name, Chewbacca. I was more than a bit shocked, even more so when I found out that the name was the product of a long discussion and compromise between them. My sister wanted to name their daughter after our late grandmother, Rebecca. Brother-in-law, who's obsessed with Star Wars, wanted to use a name from the movies. Before they knew they were having a girl, he wanted a son to name Chewie, which I still think is a bit odd, but it's not unheard of, so whatever. The problem is that he got attached to the name. Even after they found out they were having a girl, he didn't want to look for a female or gender neutral Star Wars name. He still wanted Chewie. This is where it gets dumb. After arguing over it for a while, debating using one as a middle name, and sister pushing brother-in-law to choose a different name from the series, they somehow decided the best compromise would to be just to mash the names together. When I asked my sister why she would agree to something so stupid, she got annoyed and told me that it's not like anyone would ever call her that. They'll use her nickname, Becca. I told her not to name her daughter Chewbacca and that she'll probably get bullied for having a name that sounds like a dog's name. She got mad and said her daughter is not a dog, which, obviously, and that what she named her child was none of my business. She asked me to leave if I was just going to badmouth her daughter. I told her I wasn't. I was just concerned about my niece getting bullied for having a stupid name. I think I did the right thing bringing up my concerns, but when I got home that night, I got a call from my mom telling me to drop it. She didn't like the name either, but said it wasn't our business and that my sister was right about just calling her Becca. I think both my mom and sister think the whole nickname thing is a clever way of getting around brother-in-law to get the name they actually want. But what if he insists on his side of the family using the nickname Chewy? But I don't know. Maybe the Becca thing will work? I know I'm sticking my nose in where it isn't wanted, but is it a bad thing to bring up the future problems of having the name Chewbacca or am I really overstepping? Am I wrong for calling my sister's husband useless? My 17 female, sister 34 female, called me saying that her work had an emergency and she needed to get there ASAP and needed me to watch her kids because no one else can. I rushed over there just to find her husband locked in his game room playing video games. I asked her why she called me over if he was home and she said he didn't want to babysit because it was his only day off. Sister left and I started hanging with the kids. I was changing the baby's diaper and the other kids wanted a snack. I told them to ask their dad to make it for them because the baby had a blowout and it was going to take me a while to clean him up. Well, their dad sent them back upstairs and told them to ask me again. After cleaning the baby up, I made the kids a snack and their dad came out to eat and told me not to let the kids interrupt him on his day off. By the way, he works part-time from home six days a week. I kind of snapped at him and told him it was my day off too and that he's a useless fucking father and husband if his wife has to rely on her teenage sister rather than her own husband. He started telling me I was disrespectful and didn't understand how hard parenting is. And I told him he clearly doesn't understand how hard it is either since he considers parenting his own children babysitting. He ended ended up kicking me out and apparently my sister was forced to come home because he told her she needed to figure it out since I'm her sister. I feel like I may have been the asshole because my sister is mad at me, her husband is mad at me, my mom is mad at me for causing drama, but my dad think it's funny and agrees with me. I definitely didn't need to call him names, but I just hate this guy so much. We have argued about things in the past as well, so we already don't have a great relationship. My sister is saying I need to apologize to him and he is threatening to never let me in the kids' lives if I keep disrespecting him. So, am I the asshole here? For everyone that has asked, no, he does not take care of the kids normally. My sister takes them to daycare during the day and then picks them up on her way home. She is the breadwinner and primary caretaker. Also, I got a few questions of, does she pay you? Not exactly, but she will randomly take me on expensive shopping sprees and will regularly buy things from my Amazon wishlist instead. 
Am I wrong for forcing my roommate to miss her finals exam that she spent two years studying for? Context, I live with the roommate and her three-year-old child. Roommate is a fourth-year medical student and is really struggling having to balance with child, intense study workload, chores, and part-time jobs to afford rent, babysitter, and necessities. On the day of the biggest exam of her entire degree, her babysitter canceled last minute. She was absolutely frantic and hysterically called every one of her contacts to help. Of course, she asked me. She has asked me before to babysit and I always give a stern no. It's not the time that I need to spend since I'm perfectly fine with swapping around chores, but the principle that I must be responsible for the child for the duration. Example, if the child hurts himself, no matter how badly, it would be on me. And I refuse to take that responsibility for something like that, so I always refuse to babysit. She begged me and begged me, and since the journey to her exam center is almost two hours and she needed to go now, she just said, I don't effing care, and just left the house. Frankly, I found this quite disrespectful as it is trying to push me to babysit without my consent. Right after she left, I grabbed my coat and also left. She was starting her car when she saw me and asked what I was doing. I told her I was going to watch a movie. I lied. I just refused to babysit without consent. Her eyes dropped and I could see the tears swarming as she started begging me more to help her. I still explained the same thing and that it's not the time or effort but the responsibility. She told me she would sign a waiver that states I am 100% not responsible no matter what happens. I am not an expert in law and not sure if such a waiver is even legally enforceable. Even so, it still carries a responsibility risk, so I stand my ground. Eventually, she became quiet and started 